My name is Jared Kamen. I am the faculty for engineering technology here at Lone Star SciFair at the Cypher Center. Well, the engineering technology program, it really focuses on uh, just teaching you a lot about uh, a maintenance, both in with respect to mechanical and also with respect to um, electronics. So we have, um, I teach a lot of the foundational courses and then it branches off into three associate's degrees. And so that foundation is called the, the field service certificate. And so it's a certificate of one year program and then you can stack on top of that and that's where you break into the three, the three branches. And the three branches are uh, in petroleum field service and then the next one is the industrial electronics and then the next one is automated manufacturing. And I focus more on the mechanical side of things, so the same thing that's uh, dealing with industrial maintenance, okay? So normally you would think about, you know, of course, pumps and, and compressors and, and fans and, and, and things like that. And uh, that's also for installation, for repair, you know, for maintenance, troubleshooting, those things like that, okay? And the automated manufacturing program uh, focuses uh, more on, just like it sounds, automated manufacturing. We used to call it mechatronics. So it's kind of bringing together, you know, the mechanics and electronics. You also pull in programmable logic controllers, so that kind of control. And you can see a lot of companies nowadays are, are moving for, hey, everything needs to be automated, okay? And so our students will, will come out being able to understand uh, both both sides being able to put those together and, and work in situations like that the students can they can expect first of all to be hands-on because it is a technology program but just because it's hands-on doesn't mean that we also don't focus on the soft side of things okay and so I have a class that specifically focuses on um, petroleum uh, special topics and so we teach you well you know how to be professional how to write resumes what's going on now in the petroleum industry so you have to be prepared about that as well um, but we also teach you hey those hands-on skills particularly troubleshooting so how to think about uh, how to troubleshoot something you know what's the logical steps that you go through also we show the students uh, some of the basic foundational concepts that these mechanical electronic devices are, are based upon so you have you have that going into you know whatever job you want to go into after you graduate with a certificate or with a two-year degree and so we we know that oftentimes when you go to the job, there's going to be OJT, which is on the job training. But what we do is we give you that great foundation so that when you get to that job, you know, and start learning their, you know, specific doohickey that, you know, whatever they build or whatever they put out or whatever they, whatever they manufacture, that you're able to catch up to the learning curve very quickly. Obviously, a lot of the jobs are going to be technician-based, okay? So lots of the jobs will have some type, will have a technician in it. Um, now, going from there, uh, you might have a job that says, is kind of like assembler, which could be kind of a mixture of the two, of just putting things together and actually troubleshooting and, uh, and installing, repairing, uh, things like that. Uh, the field service side of things is actually where you're going and you're traveling a lot. Okay, so you're traveling to different facilities and you're troubleshooting, you know, different devices. That's one of the things I really love about Lone Star is they really, really promote innovation and they, they want you to get that exposure and they want you um, to give your students that opportunities and those types of exposures that will really help them as they move on, whether they're trying to go for a certificate, a two-year associate's degree, or trying to even transfer uh, later on to a four-year institution. Community colleges have a very, very unique and a very important uh, position in our community because college is expensive, you know. And that's why Lone Star's models, you know, start close and, and go far. So I would say that, you know, continue to do all that research and don't, don't be afraid to come and talk to us if, if you're interested because we have very, very good programs here. And um, our students, they have those uh, opportunities to get, ex to get exposed to lots of different things. And in fact, I had my, my son go here. He went here for a year. So I'm a, a really big proponent of, of what community colleges, especially like Lone Star, can offer.